Um, next is Edison Tan. Salamat po sa info sa idol. Question, idol. Sir, you're happy. <laughs> so, salamat po sa idol. Hey guys, what's up? How are you doing? So, if this is your first time visiting my channel, my name is Vince, Filipino YouTuber based here in Chicago, Illinois, USA. So, I make different videos about men's lifestyle, um, Filipino living the American dream. So, yun, go check out my channel and please subscribe if bago ka lang dito sa channel na to. And para dun sa mga nakapanood ng video ko na bakit importante yung credit card. So, sasagutin ko lahat ng mga tanong nyo para lahat yun ma-address. Um, disclaimer, hindi ako yung sobrang financial expert pero um, I'm just basing regarding sa mga experiences ko before when I had the credit cards from the Philippines. So, yun. So, let's start. First question is from Barry Boy Manguera and same question from Heina Alisa Garcia and Agustin Belisina the third. Hi po, ask ko lang once you didn't activate your CC, you won't get charged po for annual fee or there's no any charges po ba nun? Salamat. So as far as I know, kapag hindi mo naman inactivate yung credit card mo, you shouldn't be charged ng annual fee kasi yung annual fee is sinacharge nila yun for using the card for one year. So kung hindi mo naman activate, there's no reason for them to charge you. If they did or if they do, um, tumawag ka agad kasi dapat hindi ka charge ng annual fee. Okay. Next, um, yun kay Agustin naman. I got mine pero as far as I can remember, di naman ako nag-apply. So, ano pong update nung sa ito? So, gaya nung nabanggit ko dun sa video na yun, hindi ako nag-apply pero nakakuha ko. Okay lang yun. Um, it's up to you if you're gonna activate it or not. And also, um, kapag pinadala ka ng credit card without you applying, ibig sabihin, maganda siguro yung credit history mo sa Pilipinas. Kaya kahit hindi ka na mag-apply, papadala ka talaga nila. So, next question is, From Roding in Tandem. Yung isang card namin ay nawala at hindi ko na makita. Hindi ko na sinabi sa asawa ko. Kaya na malaman niya, pagkaraan ng dalawang buwan, laking galit at sigaw ng inabot ko. Bakit daw hindi ko agad sinabi sa kanya? Kaya inamin ko na lang sa kanya na kasi yung nakakuha ng card, mas maliit ang mga charges kaysa sa kanya. Kaya nakatipid pa ako. Okay, <laughs> so ano yung tanong doon? Okay, fine. So, tapos may nag-reply, audio library. Ulit-ulit na lang mga comment mo. Galit. So, next, Charmaine Nuevo. Hello po, question lang if may credit card ako at bibili ako ng item worth 48k, 0% interest in 24 months installment, ibig po bang sabihin nun full payment for the month is equal to 2,000 pesos? Yes. Pero wait, may tanong pa. I just want to make sure po, I am planning to have credit card to avoid installment plans but I don't want to pay interest if ever. I hope you can help me. Thank you in advance. Okay, Charmaine, um, yun yung ibig sabihin nun. If you want to avail or purchase a product worth 48,000 pesos, tapos yung promo ng merchant or ng store is 0% interest in 24 months, it means, yun nga, i-divide mo na yung 48k into 24, which is, is 2,000 pesos. So, ibig sabihin, wala talaga siyang interest. So, yun yung magiging bill mo per month, which is 2,000 pesos. Next question is from Smiles Co. Next question is from Smile Squad. Pwede po bang kahit grade 8 student? Um, grade 8? Alam ko pwedeng minor, pero hindi yata pwedeng maging primary card holder yung minor. I remember before, binigyan ako ng dad ko nung supplementary niya. Um, Citibank na gold card yun eh. Citibank gold na shell, yung pagpapagas. So yun yung first ever card ko pero hindi ako primary. So ask your parents baka pwede ka nilang gawin supplementary yun para magkaroon ng credit card. Ito, so sinagot siya ni Jamil Amon, Dre2HD. Sabi niya, you can if you're at least 16 and have someone brave enough to issue you a supplementary card. O yun, yun nga yung sabi ko, supplementary card. Try to open a secured CC, deposit at least 15k and 80% nun credit limit mo. Most of the banks will not issue an unsecured card if unemployed for sure you are not yet 21 yep if you are not earning 250,000 a year I don't think so so yun yung masasuggest ko if minor ka pa or in a grade 8 mag apply ka na lang sabihin mo sa parents mo ng supplementary card yun yung best way for you to have the credit card tama naman yung sinabi ni, yung Jami, ni Jamil Amon next is Mon Katahan Nice with, lucky 13 yan. Will I have HSBC and Citibank before 
but since di ko kaya maintain pumangit ang credit status ko. For those first timer and may pangit na credit status, I suggest na mag secured credit card ka. Sure bo lang approval, may savings ka na, may credit card ka pa. So again, going back, ano nga ba yung secured credit card? So panoorin nyo yung video ko, to or ito. So yun yun, ano yung secured credit card? Next is Ashley Rara. Madali ba magpa-wave sa security bank? So sumagot si Jamil Angon, sabi niya, Nope, but you can do it manually. Sa classic MasterCard, you need to have 7,500 points to wave the second annual fee. First annual fee wave promo. One point is equal to 20 pesos spent, so do the math. Pag big spender ka naman and, and yung utilization percent mo ng card is low, most probably i-wave nila yun or try to escalate the case once you have a rep on phone. Yun. So, my experience with security bank, security bank, <laughs> security bank, I think it's case to case basis. Um, yung sa security bank ko naman, since big spender din ako before, kasi dun nga gaya nung nabanggit ko, yun yung ginamit ko, yung security bank platinum ko, yung ginamit ko nung nag-Australia kami nung 2017. So, ang dami kong nagasos nun. So, nung nag-bill sa akin ng annual fee, pinawave ko, madali naman sila kausap. So, we need nila for another year. So yun, free. I mean, depends on yun nga, percentage percentage nung pagka-utilize mo ng card. So yun. So I hope I was able to answer your question um, as me. So, next question is from Ethan Mitchell Cruz. Sir, paano mo yan binabayaran sa Amerika? May payment centers ba dyan? Good question. So, if napanood mo yung video ko na yun, halos lahat ng mga credit card ko na may utang, pero hindi naman lahat kasi halos lahat yung close na. Yung may mga naka-installment ako before na naiwan ko sa Pilipinas pero andito na ako ngayon. Ang uh, binabayaran ko through BPI Online Banking. Ang hindi ko lang mabayaran through BPI Online Banking is yung Security Bank. So ginagawa ko, so pinapabayaran ko sa Airmats ko, sa mom ko. Binabayaran niya sa SM or sa PNB or yun nga. Sa, sa Pilipinas, hindi dito kasi wala akong way para bayaran yung Security Bank. I tried calling them pero walang international way of paying so yun the rest yung BPI Citibank um, RCBC yun yung mga halos lahat yung nababayaran ko sa um, BPI online banking so madali maski nandito okay lang next question is from Christina Amarante bakit wala kang video card po <laughs> so um, actually nagtry ako ng video card pero yun yung mga ambitious days ko pa like um Fresh grad ako, nagtry ako kagad sa mga city bank, diba gano'n ang bangit ko doon sa video. Nag-apply ako sa city bank, ganyan syempre, wala pa naman ako parang pinaka-credit history. So, hindi ako na-approve. So, nag-apply din ako ng mga video dati, hindi ako na-approve. And then eventually, nang dumami na yung mga card ko, city bank, HSBC, ang dami na. I didn't feel the need of applying sa video kasi ang dami ko na ng card, so hindi ko na kailangan. So, kaya wala akong video. Next is Eman Malabayabas. Okay lang naman magka-credit card. Depende lang talaga sa paggamit mo. Kung ano lang naman inutang mo, yun lang din babayaran mo. Unless bayaran mo lang ang bills mo ng minimum amount do. Correct. Kapag minimum amount do lang yung binayaran mo, hindi mo binayaran yung full. Pagdating ng next statement, magkakaroon ng interest or finance charge. So, doon kung ba, yun yung pinakapunot dulo bakit nababaon sa utang yung mga may credit card. Kaya, as much as possible, kapag gagamit ka ng credit card, make sure... Bayaran mo yung full. So, yun. Huwag mo nang gayaan yung mga ibang mga baon sa utang. <laughs> Next is from Hina Alisa Garcia. Hi, just a question. If ever ba na hindi pinaactivate yung card, what will happen? Does it charge? Does it charge annual fee? Kasi PNB issued me a credit card na di ako aware. Actually, this is the first time na nakareceive ako ng credit card from a bank. So, ito yung question nga kanina. So, sumagot yung jack. I have a co-worker na pinadala ng PS Bank CC and di inactivate kasi di naman daw niya in-apply. So far, wala naman daw siya binayaran yun. Almost mag-2 years na yung card. Yeah, correct. So yun nga, kapag hindi mo naman pin-activate, hindi ka dapat i-charge ng annual fee. So yeah. So Nino Salenga or Salenga, thanks for sharing bro. At least I have an idea, tips and tricks. You're very welcome. Pa-shoutout din ang channel ko, Kuy. Salamat. Shoutout nga pala kay Nino Salenga. So hey, what's up bro? Um, next is Edison Tan. Salamat po sa info's idol. Question, idol. Sir, happy. 
So, ito lang ako sa info sa idol. Question nung po. Never tried pa kasi. Kung ano yung presyo ng binili mo sa mall, ganun din ba ang iibibil sa'yo or may patong na agad kahit 1 to 3 days pa lang? Plan ko kasi kung modern bayaran agad-agad. Points lang habol ko. True. Ganun din yung ginagawa ko eh. Maski may cash ako dati sa Pilipinas. Para sa points, sa miles, credit card ginagamit ko. I mean, street smart, di ba? So, yun. Um, to answer your question, kapag 1 to 3 days mo palang ginamit yun for purchase, hindi ka nila ibibil agad ng interest. So, in short, wala pa siyang patong. So, magkakaroon lang yun if dumating na yung statement mo, tapos hindi mo pinayara ng full, come next statement, doon ka magkakaroon ng finance charge. Pero, yun nga, pag may credit card ka, gumamit ka, you have, I think, 21 days para gamitin yun bago dumating yung next statement. So, yun. If that makes sense. Next is from Edward Opeña. Napaka-helpful po ng inyong video. Thanks. You're welcome, brother. Happy 29. Thank you po dito. Upcoming fresh grad din po. Napaka-informative po ng video niya po. Question lang po. Kung kailangan pa po ba ng savings account sa BPI kung mag apply po ng BPI credit card? Um, happy 29. You are so magalang. I like it. <laughs> so, to answer your question, fresh grad ka and if this is your first credit card, kung kailangan ba ng savings account. If you're up, yun nga, if first time mo ng credit card, I suggest na open the BPI secured credit card. Alam na nila yun, when you go to the brand, sabihin mo, ah, nabanggit kasi nung vlogger na si Vince, ganyan na yun din yung in-open niya before. Yung BPI secured credit card, it comes with passbook, alam ko, 10,000 pesos yung minimum. And then, may kasama siyang credit card. Tapos yung credit limit mo is only 8,000, pero not bad for a fresh grad. Para lang, pang gas or pang ano ba, shopping, ganyan. Para makabuild mo yung credit history mo. Use it for, I think, 6 months to 1 year. After that, you can apply for a new card. For sure, ma-approve ka. So, yun. Next is Erol or Erolie Pireo. It's parang Spanish. Sir, what if may card na ako and ang limit ko is sample 10,000. Tapos yung item na kukunin ko is zero interest for 12 months. Pero 20k yung value. I-charge ba nung buo yun sa card? Or kung magkano yung 20k in 12 months? Like, 1666 per month ang charges sa card. Thanks. Ah, parang naging question ko rin siya dati. Kasi parang gusto ko bumili ng laptop dati. Tapos, mas malaki yung price nung bibili ko kaysa sa limit ng card ko. So sabi ko, eh kung, kung let's say ito sa example niya, 1,666 lang naman per month. Pero 10k limit niya. Diba? So, parang 1,600 lang naman per month. Eh. So, dapat pwede. Pero technically, parang hindi ka talaga nila papayagan. I tried that before. Hindi nila ka pinayagan bilhin. Kasi nga, kasi yung original value ng bibilhin mo is 20,000. Tapos, yung limit mo is 10,000 lang. Ang gagawin kasi niyan, ang magbabayad ng 20,000 dun sa merchant is si banko. Yung kung, kung yung limit mo is 10,000 lang, kulang yung pambayad ni banko. Kasi ang mangyayari niya, kung binili mo yun through the credit card, ikaw na ngayon yung magkakaroon ng utang sa, sa banko. So, which is yung magiging monthly installment mo. 1,666 in 66 centavos. Pag tinry mo, ipaswipe yan at bili niyan, magde-decline yun. Kasi yung credit limit mo nga, yung limit mo lang is until 10,000. So, kapag 20,000 bibili mo, magde-decline yun for sure. Hindi mo siya mabibili. Kailangan mo ng credit limit at least 20,000 kung 20,000 nga yung bibili mo. Tapos yun, yung magiging bill mo is 1,666 per month. Yun. So, next is lovely day. Try nyo din AirAsia RCBC credit card. Maganda rin perks niya. So, okay guys sa mga wala pa dyan. So, in-endorse niya. AirAsia RCBC credit card. Maganda daw yung perks. Thanks, lovely. Next is Peter John Canonigo. Every credit card ay may sariling purpose. And depende yan sa purpose mo. True. Like, if mahilig kang mag-travel, best redemption ay dapat mag-platinum ka. Either Metrobank Travel Visa or City Premier or BTO Platinum. Yung cons lang dito, City does not offer waiver for annual fee unlike Travel Visa or BTO Platinum. Um, Doon lang ako magdadisagree siguro kasi yung mga City Bank ko naman, actually I have 3 City Bank cards na napakita ko if napanood yung, sa mga nakapanood ng video. Tatlo yung City Bank cards ko, lahat yun, ay yung isa pala wala talagang annual fee for life. Yung dalawa doon meron kasi. Palagi kong na, 
papawid kung bakit isa sa mga pinakagusto ko yung City Bank kasi they never failed me to waive yung annual fee um, dito sponsored by City Bank pero yun, actually madalis na kausap or baka kasi nga yung utilization ko ng City Bank card ko is grabe so pag gamit na gamit ko yung, credit, yung City Bank ko kaya palagi pag nagpapawave ako yearly okay lang, mini-wave naman nila Tama yung sinabi ni Peter, um, depende sa purpose. Kung mail ka mag-travel, make sure yung kunin mo card, may nag-earn ng miles. If yung pang iba naman sa mga points-points, ganyan, like for gas, shopping, dining, so yun. You may wanna check out yung mga perks ng cards. So, next is from McGregor Buban. 3 months old CC holder po ako. First card ko, RCBC Flexi Visa. The next card ko is West Mastercard. Okay, congratulations, McGregor. So, how's your experience of having a credit card? Share mo naman. <laughs> so, next is Dai Dang Hag. Paano po ba gusto ko OFW ko? OFW ka, gusto mo ng credit card. If, yun nga, nasa Pilipinas ka na, marami sa mga mall, yung mga stall, yung iba doon parang pre-approve yung tinatawag nila. So, apply ka doon. They will... Just ask for your ID or payslip or ITR siguro. Tapos, yun yung fastest way of getting approved kasi commission basis yun. Pero syempre, ibabak mong check up pa rin. Pero yun nga, you may wanna try. Next is Maron Austin Marquez. Sir, paano mag-apply ng credit card para pang bayad ng order from abroad? Salamat po. Um, same lang, lahat naman halos lang mga credit card. You can um, use that in purchasing international, in using that for international purchases. Um, kasi ano naman yun eh, Visa, Mastercard, Diners Club, Discover, American Express, ano pa ba, yun yung mga kilala ko. Pero sa Pilipinas, mas kilala lang yung, mas, ang pinakilala sa Pilipinas is Visa, Mastercard. So you may wanna go for those types. Um, yun, punta ka sa iba't ibang mga, mga bangko, they will give you a form, make sure to bring yun nga ID mga ITR. Yun, madali na lang magka-credit card yata sa Pilipinas, I'm not sure, siguro. Next, uh, last, actually this is the last question, from Kenneth De Leon. Yung HSBC ba ay may annual fee? Um, yung HSBC ko na red and gold, both of them have annual fee. So, may annual fee yun parehas. Yung red card, is yung mura lang yata. Ito, one for lang yata. Before us. Tapos yung gold, mas mahal ang alam ko. So, yung sa akin, meron siyang annual fee parehas. Pero, napapawave ko rin yata eh. If I'm not mistaken, yung gold napawave ko. Pero yung HSBC, hindi ko napawave. Though, mura lang naman, one for lang. At gamit na gamit ko rin yun. And I didn't mind paying annual fee. Kasi I remember, maganda naman yung experience ko sa card na yun kasi yun yung naipan-travel ko yata sa Cebu nung promo yun sa SNR kapag naka 5,000 yata na purchase accumulated in 3 months or 10,000 yata or 5,000 in 3 months meron pang local flight for free so yun pili ko go, I went to Cebu so yun kaya parang okay lang sige fine nakapag-travel naman ako so yun I think that's all the questions that I have here Thanks sa mga nagtanong dito and again, if this is your first time visiting my channel, guys, please subscribe, do watch my other videos, and please like, comment, and share, and follow me on my social media accounts. And shoutout nga pala kay Aiko Lusotan and Justin Tabuzo. Guys, uh, thank you, stay safe, stay healthy, and so if you have questions, suggestions, send me a DM on Instagram, palagi akong active, guys. Um, again, thanks for watching, see you in my next video, bye-bye.